Welcome to another edition of Ion Matheson. I am your host, Laverne Murphy. And today I also have our executive producer with us today, Village President Sheila Chalmers Curran. President, thank you so much for coming on Ion Matheson today. I'm glad to be here. At any time we can provide information for our residents, I want to be a part of it. But more important than, than, than having me here, we have our treasurer, the Cook County treasurer, none other than our good friend, mm -hmm. Maria Pappas. So yes, I'm absolutely. excited about the day. I'm excited mm -hmm. about what we're going to hear and what our residents are, and she's going to be able to share with them. So yes, absolutely. So welcome to our show, Cook County Treasurer. Thank you for coming on. I am Madison. Okay, well, it's great to be here. So welcome, I'm going to chitter welcome. chatter. So I'm going to get started because <laughs> I've got really good news for everyone in Madison. Yes. So, okay. I'm Maria Pappas. I'm the Cook County Treasurer. I've started a program on WBON called Black houses matter. matter because simply we can talk all we want a black about black lives matter but if you don't have the house the life doesn't matter so we're all about yeah. figuring out who it is in Madison, illinois that we can help so yeah. we have 800,000 people so grab a pen or a pencil who have this month come to cookcountytreasure.com cookcountytreasure.com and we're going to flash that up on the screen for you so you can see what cookcountytreasure.com looks like that's sonia tompkins in my office and and sonia works for me and she helped to set this up yes. it is a purple box it is this purple box and once you get to the purple box you are going to punch it and put in your address simple don't put in north south east and west do not <laughs> Do not put in North, South, East, and West. And on this website will pop up a picture of your home. But why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Look at this. This is the village of Mattinson, Illinois. The village of Mattinson, Illinois. This is what we're working on. We have 175 pins that are on the tax sale list. That tax sale was supposed to start on May 8th. It's been postponed indefinitely. If you get to the website, you'll find out if you're on it. Those 175 pins owe $2 million. So scroll down here and you're gonna see that 39 people are missing exemptions. That means that they are seniors over 65 who didn't get their exemption or they're seniors who are missing their senior freaks. You got to make 65 and make under 65,000 in the whole house. So now we've got all these homeowners, Black Houses Matter in Matson, Matson, who are on my tax sale list, my tax sale list, but actually Maria Pappas owes them money. Maria Pappas owes them money. In fact, there are a whole lot of folks who aren't on the tax sale list, but I still owe them money. So, so who are they? Easy. You get to cookcountytreasure.com and you get to this purple box and you put in your address. You're gonna see whether or not you're one of the lucky people who's owed $79 million. $79 million. So why would I owe you 79 million? This site goes back 20 years. 20 years. So, so what would it tell you? you? It would it tell, tell you, you that in the year 2002, because it goes back 20 years, that's back 18 mm -hmm. years. I'm not good at math, but I think it's 18 years, okay? I would hope so. At a closing, the seller's attorney said, Mayor Sheila, or President Sheila, I'm going to pay 
your tax bill, two grand. Now, in February, for that following March, you get a bill from me, the county treasurer, for $2,000. You're like, oh my God, and you pay it. So now on this property from 2002, I have two $2,000 payments sitting, two $2,000 payments sitting. So, because I have two $2,000 payments sitting, and if you go to cookcountytreasurer.com, you're going to see that. You're going to see that in the year 2002, there are two payments. You punch the button. Don't come in here. Don't come to the Cook County Treasurer's <laughs> office. It's, it's an ugly ordeal. You just to even get down here is no fun. So we've made this really easy. You punch apply here. You punch apply here. We've got a whole ordeal set up with Salesforce. We processed last week because of our counting on the ON, black housing houses matter, and, and various publications and radio shows. We had 4,500 people last year, last week, not last year, last week apply for refunds. This was 99 million, we've gotten it down to 79 million, and we're gonna take it down more. So get to cookcountytreasure.com, punch the purple box, put it in your address. If you've got a double payment, you can punch the button, we'll apply. Now, what do we have here? We've got an example. Can you get this up home? We're gonna try and get this up on a screen for you because this is an example of someone in Matson who's on my tax sale list. Can you see that? This is Alphonse at 4514 Applewood. He owes me $3,000, but in the year 2010, he overpaid by $2,000 hmm. and he did not get in, and, and I owe him $2,100. So here he is. We flashed him up on the screen. Mm -hmm. My team finally figured out how to do this. So kudos <laughs> to the team trying yes. to figure this out. Mm -hmm. This is Alfonso Esmiaco at 4214 Applewood. He owes $3,200 and I owe him $2,100 if he owned the house in the year 2010. So it's back 10 years. He got his homeowners, he's applied for them, but if he is over 65 and we think he's over 65, we're not sure if he is, we owe him four years. So every time the box says no, on the top two, if it says no and you're entitled to it, it's $500. So listen up millennials, okay? Yes. You just bought a house, you're busy running around, you're trying to figure out how many cars you're gonna get in your garages, okay? <laughs> how to sort out your <laughs> Costco bill, your other bills, your electric bill, your phone bill because you're unemployed, okay? Get to cookcountytreasure.com. Find out if you're a first time homeowner and you've been owning the house for four years, if you're entitled to an exemption. If you haven't gotten it and you're just like a simple homeowner, you don't have to be 65, I owe you $2,000. Now let's go down a little bit on this screen and we're gonna pull up another homeowner in Mattinson who's on the tax sale list. This is Constance, getting it up here, okay. We're gonna go down here. Oh, look at this one. This is Constance Causey in Matson on 215th Street. If you know Constance, I don't know if that's a <laughs> gal or a guy, it's probably a gal. Um, get out there and knock on the door because you could help Constance out. Yeah, Constance owes 3,200, but get a look at this. In 2016, 17, 18, 19, we don't know when Constance moved in. But if they've been, if Constance has been there, they're entitled to four years of exemptions and they haven't gotten any. So I'll tell you what, if you're Constance and you're a senior and you can't figure this out or you know Constance and Constance is disabled, I need you to call 312-443-5100. 312-443-5100. Black houses matter. Let's keep Constance and her family 
in this house. Let's get them off this list. Let's get them their exemptions. If you don't know how to work a computer, call 312-443-5100. We will have someone at the other end of the phone answering the phone because there's nobody in here. There's nobody in the county building. <laughs> so people are answering phones. And if Constance can't make it and figure this out, we're gonna send somebody out to her house. We've got people who live in Matson out there. We'll send Michael Lee to her house to help her with this. So now we're That's moving on. Good. We're moving on. And we want to tell you about black houses mattering in the suburbs and why this is important. So take a look at this list. This is my list. And this is my list of which suburbs have over 55% African Americans. And the number, the number of houses in that area that are up for sale. Black houses matter. Listen to this. So let's get it up, Paul. Let's get it up and let's look at Harvey. We're gonna do a share screen. We're figuring this out. We're gonna share screen. Yes, no, <laughs> there we go. Super, <clears throat> well, look at this. Go back a page, okay. Look at who's in trouble. This isn't worse to lease, it's the wrong way. Okay, so let's look at Harvey. Let's go down to Harvey. Stop there. Harvey has 4,694 houses on my tax sale list. That's almost one quarter of the houses that are on the tax sale list. There are countywide 39,000, countywide 39,000. The city has 19,000. The suburbs have 20,000. So in the suburbs, it's almost a quarter. That's sinful, mm. sinful, what I call sinful. Get a load of this. Listen to the South suburbs and how adversely they are affected. So Chicago Heights, 2050. Chicago Heights has 2050. Robbins, 1,466, totaling 1. 1.6 million. Okay, back up to Calumet City, 1,000. Stay there and look at Markham, 932. Scroll back up to Fort Heights, 877. Go up to Dalton, 610. Riverdale, 536. What you gotta see here is the difference the difference, the difference is dramatic. Let's go get in the car and get on the expressway and let's drive up to Schaumburg because everybody goes to, isn't there like a big shopping center in Schaumburg or something? Woodfield yeah, Mall. let's go to Woodfield Mall. Let's go shopping in Woodfield Mall, okay? Get a load of this one. How many properties for sale in Woodfield, Schaumburg, 64. Now you're gonna tell me that there's not a difference between Harvey having 4,600 totaling $14 million potentially of taxes being sold. And Schaumburg has 64 with a potential of 425 being sold. That is simple. We need, we need to get our act together, get people to cookcountytreasure.com and, and begin to understand the magnitude, the magnitude of black houses matter. So let me give you some, we're talking about sins this morning. I'm not the preacher, but I keep using the word sins. Mm -hmm. This is sinful, get this one. Countywide, okay, 10,000 of the 40,000 have returned mail. Can we get off that screen, Paul? 10,000, 10,000 of the 40,000 have returned mail. That means somebody and possibly somebody who's African-American never got any mail. And why didn't they get any mail? They are in wheelchairs, they are on walkers, their kids aren't opening up their mail. So they get this, they get this in the mail, they get this in the mail from Pappas. It just looks like, you know, a Taco Bell ad, a $5 coupon for Costco, and it just gets thrown in with the rest of the garbage mail. So there are people actually out there on this list who don't have a clue. They don't have a clue that they're on this list. They owe less than 10,000. And of those, 7,800 are returned mail to my office. The mail comes back. 
How do you know the mail comes back? Go to, go to, and I ripped it up, unrip it, cookcountytreasure.com. And when you put your address in here, don't put north, south, east, and west, but when you put your address in here, there's going to be a huge banner which says, returned mail, returned mail. So what do you do about that? You immediately punch a button. And online, you can correct your address if we're sending it to the wrong address. Mm. Or you can find out what you owe or you can actually do like you do when you get on an airplane, even though nobody's on an airplane anymore, you can download the bill. It's got a scan line on it. It's got a little line across the bottom of it. And on that scan line, you can then mail it in. Nobody wants to go to the post office. You can go to Chase. Not that many people are leaving their houses and going to Chase, okay? You could mail it into me I don't want it that way. What I want you to do is what everybody's doing now. Really go online and pay. See this? Yes. Pay online for free. Pay. We've had 180,000 people come. Like people aren't going to chase anymore. They don't mail it to me. And since this whole thing started July 1st, do you know how many people came in the Cook County Treasurer's office today? 16. Usually the line's winding, but people have wisened up. They know that they can get anything they want with a 20 year history on cookcountytreasure.com, on cookcountytreasure.com. So now let's talk about something else, which we need our good president Sheila here to set up in Mattinson. And we are gonna send people out there. We're gonna train hey. you. You are gonna have a dedicated, dedicated computer it. on the desk and people are gonna come in and they are gonna be able to put in their address if they don't have a computer come on. What are they gonna find out? Get this one. How many people live in Mattinson? I don't know, 20,000? About, 20, okay. about 22. 22? Mm-hmm. 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 We're gonna eventually, on every piece of property, your staff, and you're gonna hire some summer kids. Okay. Okay. Are gonna put gonna in every address. Too, right. <laughs> and look at this. There's 1,067 people in Matson who've overpaid during the last 20 years by a million bucks. Wow. President wow. Sheila is gonna find you. She we're is gonna, gonna track them. you down. Yes, we're gonna track them down. We want to You're gonna track them down. You're gonna go knock, 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 knock on the door. <laughs> and when you finish knocking on the door and the person comes to the door, you're gonna find out if they own that house. Yes. In the year that there was a duplicate payment. They have to have owned the house. They can't apply for the previous owner. Okay. So okay. we're gonna find out. That we've you got 20 years of stuff that you got to look at here. So, Matson's listening up. Yes, yes. The president's going to help everybody figure this out because you want to know what can be done in hard times. You help people find their money. So, three so things true. here you're sitting on 79 million in overpayments. We know a million of it is in Matson. We All know right. that. We know that. 38 million of unapplied exemptions are there. You can find that on their site Mm -hmm. and last. These taxes are now due on August 3rd. August 3rd. If you've got a mortgage, we got a gal in our office, Tamika Davis. The mortgages are done. 1.4 billion is in this office right now on about 730,000 pieces. Wow. Tamika beat the mortgage companies up, so they would pay on August 3rd. They're all paying. Next. You, you don't have a mortgage and you don't have any money. Your kid's trying to go back to school. You're unemployed. You didn't get your unemployment check. I mean, whatever. Your, your mother's sick, your aunt's sick, your uncle's sick, your hassle. You don't have the money. You need two months. You don't have to pay on August 3rd. You can wait until October 1st. October 1st, and you can pay penalty free, penalty free. So what does that mean? Interest runs a point and a half a month on penalties. Hmm. County board waived it through October 1st. So now it's October 1st, 
And President Sheila calls me up and she says, I don't have any money, Pappas. What am I going to do? I can't afford this two grand. Simple. You can do a couple of things. You cannot pay and let the point and a half start to run every month. Mm -hmm. Or you can partial pay. You can pay me 100 and then the interest would start running on the 1900 mm -hmm. Okay? Now, That's listen good. up because this is really important. And people say a lot of bad stuff about Mike Madigan, but let me tell you something. Mike Madigan helped me get this legislation passed. It used to be that your house, after nine months, bam, got sold. Not anymore. Madigan helped me get the legislation through where it's now 13 months. And that is mm. really a big deal because in the life of financial yeah. distress and this kind of medical problems that we're having, an extra four months for anybody is a huge deal. So we are pounding the pavement. This is Maria Pappas. I am the Cook County Treasurer. Quickly get to cookcountytreasurer.com. Put in your address. You're going to see a picture of the house, the property. You're going to find out if you're owed 79 million in double payments, 38 million in unapplied for homeowner, senior and senior exemptions. You can print your bill if you want, and you can not pay until October 1st. You can pay online from this site for free. If none of this makes any sense to you, call 312-443-5100. You can't figure that out. We'll get someone to talk to you. We will send someone out to your house. And lastly, demographics of Matson. I didn't have time to look it up, but this website's up in 126 languages. If you have a Spanish speaking, um, persons living in your area they can do all of this online in right. spanish we can give you the link and we have a polish spanish and english phone system you can dial in put in your 14 digit property tax number and the phone actually talks to you in english spanish <laughs> and polish so that's pretty cool that's yeah. it i got nothing else to say you... my 20 minutes are up <laughs> i'm getting thrown off the air i will come back when i have other news thank you and we'll help you figure out the rest of your life. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you Sonia. Thank you so Thank much. You, Thank you. Sheila. Hey, hey, we got to get together real soon, real soon once, once this is, this is all over, over in, person. in person. I can't wait to have you out, out here. There. That's we what are coming out there. I want to see you here. I want to see you here. All right. So nobody <laughs> messes with me and Sonia. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. We don't have much. a Maybe we'll buy one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great show. We yes. got a lot of information. That was Thank great. Thank you for coming on. We really, truly appreciate yes. it, Cook County Treasurer. And that concludes our show. Thank you so much for tuning in on I Am on Madison, where I'm the host, Laverne Murphy. Our executive director is the president, Sheila Chalmers-Kern. So thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned, stay connected, get involved. Mm -hmm.